Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're well. Welcome in, Cancerian. Much love to you. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Getting some messages out for Cancerian for your week ahead, your seven day ahead. Oh my god. I feel like something may come crashing down. The song crashing down, and now I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. I need somebody to call my own. Ooh, someone may be looking for love because a relationship ended. I hear friendship too. A friendship ended. Some kind of connection that was possibly long term connection. Like you have probably have been through a lot with this person, and something ended. Like when you, it's like there came a, a, a uh, there came a point in time when both of you realized that you're not meant to be together. And this could be just a friendship. Like you're on different paths here. And something came crashing down. Like the, an ultimate decision was to be made. And you guys both realized that you're going to make the separate decisions. Different decisions. Okay? And it may have been a struggle for some people. Because you have, I feel like this has been a long term relationship. That ended. But I feel like, um, you know when something comes crashing down. And then there's a bursting light. That's the energy I'm getting with the sun card that also a bursting light and it could be i it could be uh intelligence to save your money <laughs> i don't know why it's like an intel a light some light to save your money or to be different or to act different think different feel different about life someone may want to come back around to you virgo energy seeking you out wanting to know where you are this person may have lost connection with you and is literally you know uh, two people walking in the dark and one person gets lost ahead of the other so the other one literally stops and maybe is waiting for someone to come back to find them they're standing in the dark not no, just not knowing where to go maybe terrified afraid not knowing how to move forward or how if to, if they're to turn back or move forward that's the confusion because something ended and maybe a person is not sure should i should i go after this person or should i or should I go back? Or should I, move, should I move forward? What should I do? That's the confusion with this. Of swords. Energy here, Cancerian. Any other messages for Cancerians in this time? Hmm. Okay. I feel like the divine handed someone a sword to, to end this connection here. And it was, it was uh, wrathful. That's the energy I'm getting. It was by force. Someone was upset. And they were like, take this and end it now. That's the energy I'm getting with. The sword's energy. It was meant to end. Someone who was meant to be cut out of your life. The divine sent it. And now you know the truth. You're not accepting offers from this person anymore. This, this energy that came into you was intelligence. And it is what caused you to end this connection. I feel like you had the sword in your hand to end this, connect, to end this connection with this person. Or this situation. This person may want to come around, as I said. They may want to send you messages, sing out to you, send you a call or something, work on your emotions, try to get you confused or something, maybe for some people, you know? But you're not taking the bait. You're really now learning how to sit in your heart space, which is beautiful, Cancerian. Okay? Learning how to sit in your heart space, meaning you're learning how to stand on your own two feet, how to find balance in your love, or how to love yourself. How to have a relationship with yourself first. Focusing on work. How to have a relationship with yourself first. Okay. So I do feel like you're giving... You're, you've, you've changed their focus to now focusing on work. Whatever you're working on. You're working on things that you find valuable. It could be your talents. Your things that you're gifted at. You could be very, very creative. So it's, I feel like instead of using your energy... Wow, you could be dealing with two people here. Cancel. You could be getting offers from two people. And you may not even you you may not even be aware of this to some extent because you are focusing on your work. I feel like you've put you maybe you you're not off you're just not accepting any offers right now from anyone. I feel like something happened. It could be this end, this crash or the sun energy that came out and you light in you. That changed your focus and now you decide to really focus on your work. Things that you're good at doing. I don't feel something that you're passionate about. It's just like something to distract you or to keep your hand busy, your hands busy and your mind occupied. 
But it's also something that you're very good at doing and people admire and appreciate your energy. The, the page of wands and the page of cups flew out together. Now this could be two different people or this could be you and another person. You could be wanting to offer your attention, your love and affection to another in another direction, you know? It could be to another person. It could be to a practice. It could be to uh, something to quench you, I feel. Okay, this could be a water sign that is offering you this love. And you're not really receiving it because you're, you feel like it is not... It's not the best cup of water, you know? It's not the best offer of love. You feel like it could be better. And so you're still not receiving this energy. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. And this could be you offering someone some love and attention. But I feel like you are... You're in blacksmith energy where you're literally locked away in your workspace, just hammering and grinding and working and focusing on work. And then someone comes and knocks at your door. And you're not even very aware that this person is interested in you. Because you don't really give a damn. You're working. I feel you're greasy. You're kind of dirty and sweaty. And you're like, what do you want? That's the energy you have. And there's this page of wands energy. I'm going to be clarifying soon. Which is saying someone is attracted to you. And this could be this same person that is really attracted to you. Or another person that finds you attractive. This could be fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Attracted to you. Wanting to come into you. Both of these people want to move into you. Could be two different kinds of people. Two different mindsets perhaps. You know. People, and both of them are moving rather. You know at a quick pace. To come into you. But with the sword entrusted to you. Which is the sword of wisdom and intelligence. Of higher thinking. Of stability and groundedness. I feel like this is why it's, this sword has been given to you. Whatever this intelligence is. It's keeping you grounded. To not be confused. Oh hell. Our oh, heaven yay. Okay. The sun energy has to come out. I said it wanted to come out earlier. I feel like you're about to celebrate something. You're moving on. I feel like, well, I don't know what happened, but while you're working, maybe you've been thinking of traveling. <clears throat> maybe you have been thinking of traveling. And I don't know how this opportunity came to you, but I feel like while you're working, working, working in your energy, in your workspace, there's something in your heart that you're happy about, you're smiling about, you're looking forward to this opportunity to maybe get out of here or to have different experiences. That's what I'm feeling with the sun energy. There's a breakthrough or something that is coming for you that's about to get you out of this three of pentacles energy. You were enjoying it, but I feel like the time for this to, to end and for newness to come in has come. And you were looking forward to this. You know, maybe you've put, been putting off making that decision to move forward, to be free and exuberant and enthusiastic about like this thing, whatever this oppor an opportunity that you have, it is already yours. I feel like the decision is just up to you. The decision is up to you. And it could be this opportunity here with the Ace of Swords. I feel like it is an opportunity entrusted to you that may enable you to move away from our traveler to see something new. And maybe you were nervous about it because you felt safe in your comfort zone over here working. But I feel like this spirit is telling you that this environment is no longer yours. There's some, a higher calling here for you, Cancerian. You're to literally move out of this space here. Something am This Ace of Swords here is amazing. This is given to you, Cancer. On your path, on your mission. You need to be wielding that sword, riding that horse, as happy and free as can be, as confident and abundant as ever. And you're spreading light behind you as you move. And you are about to step into a brand new energy. You are about to put your tools down, whatever you've been working on. Some of you could have been working on healing and it's just that you, you've completed a job. So it's like you've been hammering and working so long and now the, the project or assignment is finally completed. And you're ready to put... I feel like you're literally ready to put the tools down, to take the clothes off, and to just, you're, you're ready to leave 
everything behind. You're ready to just walk out that door and start a brand new... Everything behind. Look, this person is naked. Riding in glory. In light and truth. Leaving everything behind and stepping into your authenticity. The truth of who you are. Even before anyone told you who you were. What do you want to be? What do you want to live to feel to express in this lifetime here, Cancer? You have an opportunity now to take, to leave everything behind you that you've learned and move forward. And this could be moving forward in a, new, a brand new relationship of your choosing. Because I feel like it's as if you have new enlightenment with the sun energy here that's causing you to trust. And this is, this energy is, this is powerful. This energy is trusting and moving forward. And maybe for some of you, your past person, they may decide to actually take a step in the dark to come and find you. They're taking it step by step and they're moving slow. That's earth sign energy, Virgo energy. They're taking their time. They're not really sure if this is the right move. They're like very timid, taking, a, taking it step by step, even hoping that while they're moving, you may decide to turn back and come find them too. So they're really taking their time, hoping that you may reach out to them first. But you want, you're ready to let this connection go. Let us clarify the, what is the Ace of Swords in Cancer's energy here? The, oh my gosh, wow, two tens popped out for you, baby. Oh my gosh, so the Ten of Swords is the dawn is breaking, a new day is coming, it is over. It's also reinforcing for me the Tower energy, which is something is over, something ended. This is the end of a cycle and something new about to bloom, to blossom, to come into being. After something ends, the sunlight comes out and shines and things start to prosper and grow again with the Ten of Cups energy. This is my dream come true card. So whenever I'm doing your readings and you see this energy, whatever question you ask within yourself and you see the Ten of Cups, it's saying your dream is coming true. But be mindful, it's your dream. So whatever you want, that's what's coming true with this dream of come true energy. The Ten of Swords may say you have um, some affiliation with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this person could have betrayed you. But I feel like you're being given back your power now. This Ace of Swords is amazing. It's literally so powerful right now. This force that's coming in. Like, oh my God, like something has been stolen from you. And then the Divine reclaimed it and is giving it back to you because you, it belongs to you. You've been given your power back, Cancer. Your power is here. It is here. You're so beautiful. I love it. I can't stop saying how powerful you are. And did you, as if you deserve this, as if you are a child of God, the sun. And someone tried to take your destiny by hurting you, injuring you, keeping you confused. And maybe this was just your life path. Maybe you had to experience these endings, these loss of friends, confusion emotionally betrayal because god knows that you can handle it listen you know how they did jesus <laughs> oh my gosh and no this is literally my christ consciousness energy the ace of swords is christ consciousness you are risen you are coming up truthfully in your power this is so powerful this is amazing your dream is coming true this feels like you're ascending with the ten of the ten of cups energy it literally feels like you're transforming and you're ascending into the light as when Jesus was ri risen, risen from the dead. Holy heaven. And then the card wanted to me to talk about the, the tower energy some more. Risen from the dead of what happened. Something happened in the past. The tower energy can also symbolize that the tomb that Christ was buried in. For some of you, you could be Christians. Um, that's, you know, no problem there, of course. So maybe this really applies to you. Okay, and risen from the ten of being down, dead, left in the dust, to rising because you started to focus on yourself with the three of pentacles energy here. Focus on work, just focusing on a di in a different direction. Lo learning to love yourself, learning to be in your own company. You know that's the energy. It's so amazing. And now look at you. Your dream is coming true. You're finding like the end of suffering for you and your dream come true, Cancer. Whatever suffering you are going through, and we may see that, what, what, it, what it is. Your dream come true. 
okay? That's the Ace of Swords. This is telling me that take back your destiny. Someone tried to take it from you. Aries, Leo, Sag I'm sorry, not Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the air sign. And this could just be your experiences in life that try to keep you down, but you're a fighter. And the divine came and took it back. And it feels like a father energy. I swear. You hear me? Swearing. <laughs> talking about Christianity and swearing. But um, it's like literally father energy when we're talking about the son and the father here. Is, is that masculine energy where a father is standing up for his daughter or his son, a little child, uh, and saying, why did you take my child's bicycle? For example, give it back to him. Give it back to her. This is hers. Oh my God, you've been so blessed and I'm getting goosebumps. This is so amazing. I'm telling you, this power is powerful. The divine is literally on your side here. I don't know who this energy is. This could be, a, oh my God, this is Christ consciousness. I tell you, in my other readings, I say it too. And I'm getting so many different energies of Christ. Some of you could literally be spiritual warriors. Not even, I shouldn't even say could. I'm telling you, you that's watching this, you're a spiritual warrior. And you've been given your gifts for a reason. And let no one cause you to deny yourself. Keep moving in your power. In grace as well. Move in grace. Your dreams come true. Your dreams are coming true, Cancer. And that is the Ace of Swords energy for you. Other messages for the Ace of Swords coming through. <laughs> You're going to have to move forward and reunite with people that are in alignment with your cause and your mission here. And leave some things behind. People that betrayed you. Things that remind you of sadness. Or betrayal or hurt or not trusting. You need to leave those behind so you can really move. This is the, the cup's energy again. This is amazing. This could be you aligning with your twin flame, your love, your soulmate. And I feel like this has happened when you're on this journey. Because I do feel you're moving, you're traveling. You're just being so... I, the energy you're moving with is... I'm feeling like the sun's light that, that shines across the land as it rises in the morning time. Literally, as you spread your light across the lands, Cancerian, you may align with someone that is, uh, you, you, you may be aligning with a fire sign representing the sun and you being the moon. It could be that energy where the sun energy meets the moon. And it is so amazing. It's so powerful. I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's so profound. It's like two energies coming from different directions, colliding. And making love in the middle, two energies. Oh my gosh. Colliding and making love in the middle. You see that lion there, that's fire energy as well. And the two of cups is water. So it could be you aligning with a fire sign or you have heavy fire in your chart. Oh my god, oh my god. And look, you could be aligning with a fire sign. And both of you could be young people, young in spirit, young in heart. For you, some of you, this is same sex relations. For some people. Not all, but for some. Okay, so both of you are moving to maybe toward each other. Okay, moving toward one another in your own way. See, because the, this one is moving in his own way, the page of wands, and the page of cups is moving in his own way, moving through emotions, intuition, and one is moving through desire, passion, creativity, manifestation, abilities. All right. So that was the Ace of Swords. It's beautiful. You are reclaiming your power. Whew. You are rising. Something else needs clarification. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the spirits are literally, are, they're just going to be throwing out all of these beautiful cards for you. Now we have three tens. Oh my God, your wishes are coming true. You're getting all of your heart's desires, Cancerian. Financially, everything. And I feel like in a matter of months or so, finances won't matter to you anymore. It will be different. And here comes this Virgo energy once more. This could be the person from your past. That spirit may be telling me that you need to once and for all move away from and clear out of your energy. And you, you don't necessarily have to lose this person as a friend. But you can be the stand up for what you want. Speak about, who, say who you are. And maybe if, if you and this person shouldn't align, they will leave you. But you have to know who you are. Okay? And this person may be really sad about you. About losing you. Losing your connection. 
Okay, maybe some of you want me to dive into this Virgo energy, your past person. So let's look while the opportunity is here because we know where you are going already into your abundance and your dream life and your your wishes granted, your financial. Oh my God, everything is working out for you, Cancer, and I love it. I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming through. Remember that this is a general reading, Cancer, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So do take what applies and the rest let it fly. If the message resonates with you, go ahead and give me, my video a thumbs up. I consider it a compliment to the video. Share the video with those you love, of course. And if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet, Sage Scented Healing Tire, do go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload beautiful videos for you. Thank you so much. And now I'll move into the second section of your reading, which is clarifying your person's energy. I may do this as an extended. So if, if, yeah, I feel like I'm doing this as, as an extended. So do check out the description box for those of you who want to go further into your person's energy. 